Well, how do I look? The sky-blue satin clung to her firm round breasts and cinched tight at the waist, flaring slightly as the delicate fabric fell to her feet, which were adorned with silver strappy stilettos. It's new, Claire added, as she twirled around in front of the mirror, feeling like a princess. No response came, verbal or otherwise. When I saw it in the dress shop window, I thought it would be perfect for tonight. It fits like it was made especially for me. She continued to babble until he held up his hand. I prefer you in another color. Claire tried to hide the disappointment that instantly washed over her. She'd spent all afternoon making sure her hair was perfectly coiffed and her makeup was immaculate, desperately hoping that he'd approve of the way she looked. The dress was just supposed to be the icing on the cake. Um, I don't think I have enough time to change, she said, biting her bottom lip, attempting to stop it from trembling. She wouldn't cry. He didn't like it when she cried. You do. His response was clipped, and Claire understood that she was to change. Now. Standing in the bathroom just a moment later, she leaned on the granite counter for support and considered her tear-filled eyes in the mirror staring back at her. She'd used blue and silver eyeshadow to go with her new dress. Now she would be dressed in red, and Claire knew he'd make a snide comment about her makeup not matching. There was no time to dwell on it now. She had to change into the red chiffon, and quickly. Pulling the gown from the plastic dry-cleaning bag, she unzipped the side zipper and laid it over the armchair in her sprawling walk-in closet. Making quick work of the buckles on her Manolo Blahnik shoes, she kicked them off and then wriggled out of her dazzling princess dress, tossing it on the plush carpeted floor in a fit of anger. Why had she thought she could buy something without his approval? It was stupid of her to think he would like it. Experience had told her she'd be making a mistake. She squeezed herself into the requested attire, frustrated at the knowledge she'd be sitting for so long. It was a dress for standing due to the intricate beadwork on the bodice that cut into her flesh just below the bust when she sat for prolonged periods of time. And tonight would be one of those nights. Her posture would have to be perfect for the next four hours. Slipping her feet into nude Prada pumps, Claire hurried back to the bathroom and grabbed a gray eyeshadow and tried to lessen the blue of her eyelids by dabbing the powder-filled brush into the creases of her lids. Managing to soften the look and even succeed in bringing out the brilliant green of her eyes, she was satisfied with her effort. Claire! Her time was up. Ready, coming. With one more glance in the mirror, she desperately hoped he would be happy with her appearance this time. As she stepped out of the bathroom, she attempted a smile. Better? With a grunt, he stood and walked to the door of their bedroom. We're late, he growled. 